What is up? It is Red, the ride chair ginger coming right back at ya. It's Saturday, getting ready to uh, get a little bit of work in, Saturday at six. And I'm not going to talk about being overpaid today. Last two videos were about that. We'll, we'll let that settle down for a little bit. But I'm gonna talk about the real two phone Uber trick. It's not really a two phone trick, but so here's the thing. So Rideshare Hub, I guess, came out with a video about a two phone Uber trick. And then, and I guess they took it from another video that was done previously. And then Geo followed up on the Rideshare Revolutionaries saying how he stole the idea from someone else and it doesn't even work anymore and this and that. And I did a quick look at it. It's something that I've done before. I don't even know if it really works, but it doesn't really matter. Whether it works or not doesn't matter too much because it's it's not really that useful. Knowing where other drivers are is only minimally useful. I mean, you can get a ride because you have a better rating by, while sitting around other drivers and you can't spend your whole day driving away from where everyone else is at because the reason a lot of people are probably there is there's probably a lot of rides. So real two phone Uber trick. Don't even need two phones for it either. And it's a way to predict surge and predict surge adjustments. The way it works, and you don't need two phones, you can do this on the same phone, you're gonna use the passenger app. That's one of the few ways that you're gonna use the passenger app to your advantage. And so what you're gonna do is you are going to see the price of a ride. So right now, check the price for the ride from your local airport to a typical destination. So you know roughly what that normally costs. And then check the price from another location to another location that is typically a ride you do or a longer ride that you do. You have the base prices for that, assuming there's no surge right now. And then when you think there should be surge or you're entering a potentially high surge time, you're gonna go back into the passenger app and check that pricing again. And if there's surge that they're charging the passengers, you'll know. So where this is useful is one, if there's gonna be a surge adjustment for you, and a surge adjustment is when you get told you're getting $3.50 flat surge and it adjusts because the trip was longer or because the passenger paid more surge. So the way you're gonna know if you're gonna get an adjustment is if there's really high surge and what you're getting is lower surge, or the, the surge amount that you're promised is lower and there's significantly higher surge, you're more likely to receive an adjustment at that point. And then the other way that it's useful is generally the passenger app leads the driver app. So if surge is starting, so if the prices start going down, the cost of the ride starts going down on the passenger side, that means surge is about to disappear on the driver app. Likewise, if surge is going up, the price of the ride is going up, then surge is going to increase on the driver app as well. This works really well with flat surge. I can't tell you whether it works with the multiplier. I, I've, I've never really worked with the multiplier. I had a month of the multiplier or something like that. So I don't know how it works with that, but it's a good way to kind of guide your night or your day. If you're sitting at an event trying to see if surge is going to go higher or higher and you're sitting there waiting for that 60 plus ride or whatever, you'll know, okay, I just got to take a normal ride by now if the surge is starting to drop. So it's a, it's a good predictor of what's to come. But keep in mind, at certain events, sometimes that surge will hit a peak it'll drop and then it'll actually come right back up again and hit another peak that's even higher than the original peak because some people leave the event early so keep in mind that it, it, it kind of ebbs and flows a little bit so keep an eye on it when you're working an event it's a good way so you can predict surge a little bit surge is relatively unpredictable but if you're checking the passenger app you're going to know what the passengers are paying which means you're going to have a good idea of whether or not you're going to get some surge for yourself the real two phone trick it, again, you don't need two phones for it. You hop on the passenger app on your phone. You can open up all at the same time. I think previously you needed two phones because for some reason you couldn't have the passenger app and the driver app open at the same time, I think. Uh, I'm not positive. Also, I guess I'll have another tip coming for you here soon that I just thought of that I've done before while using the passenger app. So you can't request a ride while using the passenger app. At least you couldn't previously. You might be able to now, but six months ago, you could not have your driver app open and request a ride on the passenger app at the same time for fear of a driver requesting a ride for quest reasons or anything like that. Anything like that. But I have a workaround for that that I'll let you know in the next video coming your way but until next time guys hit that subscribe button hit the notification button hit the thumbs up do whatever you do 
I hit it. Get at me in the comment box. We can keep arguing about whether we're overpaid or not. I don't. I don't care. It, it, it's. It's an opinion. It is my opinion, and I have a feeling people aren't actually watching the videos because some of the things that are being said, I either address in my video, or they're calling me out on something that I didn't say. So I. It's very interesting how people decide to comment before watching the video, but it is what it is. I'll keep talking with you guys, and I'll get back at you guys later. Thanks.